Hi Leos, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams and I'm excited because we're getting ready to move into the moon in Aries which means that um, all this frenetic energy and this chaos that's been going on for the last six months it's going to kind of mellow out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, maybe not quite that much. But anyway, it's going to mellow out. Things that have needed to be closed are going to close up. Things are just going to get more even. We're going to have more of an even kill for the rest of the year, which is awesome. And it's been 32 years since the moon has been in Aries for six months like this. So that's really exciting to me. Um, what do Aries need to hear? What do Aries... Jeez, oh, not Aries. What do Leos need to hear? Because it means in Aries, not in Leo. What do Leos need to hear? What do Leos need to hear? So the first card we get is the Empress. And this is like the Great Mother card. But she's sitting there with her scepter. She has uh, 12 stars in her crown for all of the astrological signs. There's a calm river rowing by her. It's very feminine energy, but it's all about peace and tranquility and the home and the hearth and things like that. Um, the next card we get is the sun. We get the, card, the sun reversed. And this card is all about friends and family, too. But friends and new, uh, good things like that uh, and celebrations. It's uh, maybe travel. See, he's getting everything he wants. Now, it was reversed, so you're not going to get everything you want, darn it. Don't you just wish you could have it all? Don't you? I do. I want it all, you know? But I can't have it. Um, but this is about harmony. So because it's reversed, we're not going to have harmony right away. But it's all about hearth and home. So we are getting some harmony in our hearth and home. Then our next card is the emperor. So what else is going on? Is there some man or some energy that's in control and uh, keeping things on the right track and it's very controlling, but and see he's sitting between the two rams, which are the sign of Aries once again, so I think that's interesting. Um, and he's holding an onk, which I'm wearing an onk. And there's mountains in the pet, but he's like in control. I am the big daddy. This could be the God card. And this is really not the goddess card. This would be more like the mom card. So, but this is the God, the dad energy. So it's saying this is hearth and home. Um, you're going to have harmony, balance at home, but you have to also be sure it's kind of mellowed out and that there's some control going on. And it might be you. You might be the one controlling it, but you need to let go of that. And then our next card, because I dropped this one, is the Eight of Pentacles. And this card it says you've got a lot on your plate, um, and you're doing a lot of different projects, and it's time to close them all up as we're going along. But it's a really cool card because you're going to get these accomplished. And it's a very accomplished card. Now we're going to pull from the Lucy Cavendish deck. Oh, silly me. I'm doing a lot of silly me's on you, Leos, aren't I? We're going to use the Oracle of the Dragon Fae, which is a really pretty deck. And it's all about fairies and dragons and things like that. And I like fairies and dragons. What do Leos need to hear? What do Leos need to hear? And I dropped a card, so we're going to have two. The first one is Grandmother's Magic. And this card is about comfort. Grandmother or spirit is there for you. Spirit is there to comfort you and provide you solace. So I think you've been going through something and even though right now we're moving into hearth and home and balance, you have felt like there's somebody controlling you. And 
grandmother's magic is saying, I've got it. Spirit is saying, I can comfort you. I can take care of you. And this is Chumara. And this is a web of life. And this card says we're all intertwined. That I'm part of you and you're part of me. And that we're all part of one another and part of the earth and part of spirit and spirits in all of us. Now I'm going to look at my crystal ball. And I'm going to see what Leo's need to hear for this week. I see a triangle. Now, when you think of a triangle, it can be a lot of things. Christians think of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, there, are, so there are people who can say the mother, the maiden, the crone. But I think that this is earth, mind, and spirit. And in your case, Leos, you need to bring them together. I think you've been caught up in the, the body, mind, and spirit. Ugh. Here I go again. I have had, just had problems with y'all tonight. Um... And there's body, mind, and spirit, and you need to bring those together. That you've been concentrating too much on the mind and the body, not enough on the spirit. And you need to bring it together. That's why this is a web of all life, because it's all connected. And this is the comfort card, because you've been too busy with those things. And I see a mountain, but it's a really steep mountain, and you've been feeling like you've been climbing this really steep mountain. And you need to let spirit help you with that climb. And I see a rope. Spirit's been throwing you a rope. But you got to reach it. You got to take it just because like if you're drowning, if you're out to sea and you're drowning and somebody throws you a life jacket or a life or life ring, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't get it, they can throw you everything you need. But if you don't reach for it, you're going to drown. So it's time for you to take that rope that spirits are offering you. And you've been feeling kind of dull, not like dull, like in your mind, but like just life isn't the adventure you thought it would be. But spirit's there for you. Spirit loves you. So Leos, know that you are loved this week. Know that you are loved. If you want to um, have a private reading, send me a text, 405-512-9400. Or go on my Facebook page, Belladonna Moonbeams, and send me a private message. And until next week, have a good one. Bye.